Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. We're spinning it around and we're coming up on what 40 degrees that looks like it and we want to go to 60 all right we did it Drag this out. Let's get the vacuum on this a bit. And loosen it up. Let's see what we've got. All right. A little more vacuum action. So we've got a uh, little bit of rough edges on the bottom here. We're going to take a jeweler's file and go in and uh, just clean up those edges. Just take the burrs off. Yeah, that'll do it. And that supposedly ro rotates around. It's a little snug, but we can deal with snugness. It's a lot snug. <laughs> All right, fine. Looks like it just, just when it bottoms out, it snugs up. So... Maybe we got too much radius here and not enough radius there. Something like that. We'll play with that later on. But, basically we've got that. This goes on top of it. A bolt goes all the way through here, all the way through to this washer, which is going to have a hole in it at some point. And, uh, and this this one rotation boat bolt these two bolts will hold this platform to the to the um, to the base the bolt will go all the way through and connect with this when you tighten the bolt it pulls the washer up against the back side of this and uh, hopefully uh, snugs it up and makes it uh, so it can rotate and then hold so I think next, I mean, other than drilling the hole in the washer, which uh, we may end up doing that fairly quickly, but I think we can just do that almost on the drill press. Just put everything together and go straight through. But for the moment, what we're going to do, I think it's a good idea at this point to go ahead and put it back on the lathe, and we're going to trim this shoulder off and we're going to do a nice radius there so that it has a a good finish to it so we'll okay be... so we rustled up a contour bit and we're going to run that in there and just see what it looks like uh, it's probably going to work okay in fact i just want to rotate this just a little bit further there we go I'm thinking we're going to be just fine, but 
we definitely want to see what it looks like. So let's get started. We're going to run this thing super slow. All right, so we've got our uh, steps. Uh, we're going to come in with our uh, contour bit and see if we can kind of pull this thing off. We've got about another eighth of an inch to go before we get to our line. And even then, our line is a little bit wide. So uh, let's go ahead and go for it. slow our speed down
that's a much nicer finish. Um, still a little gaudy, but you know, I mean, it's uh, uh, cold roll, and cold roll is all I could get at the time. So uh, I would love it to be 12 out 14 because man, that would be a one smooth transition. But it is what it is, right? So we've got one contour. We want to do a second one. And I think that's probably, what time is it? Oh, a little after nine. That's not too bad. We might just be able to put that second contour in there. So, but, uh, you know, hey, I'm not going to film it. I'll be back. All right, so we're centered. Uh, we've got the table centered. And now what we have to do is come in and center our piece. And we'll drop the coax in under there. That looks pretty good. And so we were reasonably close. I'll just take my hammer and start dinking with it. Oops, too much. And I'd say that looks pretty damn good. And I think that's about as fast as I've ever set center. We're sitting at a thou, thou and a half. I can definitely live with that. Okay, so now Pull the coax out. Take the collet out. Put our other collet in. And we had a bit here. Oh, here it is. We'll tighten the bit up. Now we need to take our table back up. Okay, we got to get a battery first. Okay, so uh, we've got our, our um, base, and now we need to put three holes in it to uh, give us something to uh, bolt to. So we're going to build some seats for those holes first. Now we're going to stay centered on this hole and uh, 
and drill a hole in it but as you can see I uh, screwed up and put my my uh, plate right on the the um, the rotary table so I don't want to drill into the rotary table so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill a real light pilot hole just to get it started and then I'm going to just take it over in the drill press and and finish it up so uh, we're going to turn our bring our uh, cable down Geez, did you see any of that? Yeah, you saw it all. Nice. Okay. Take our bit out. Move the collet. We can kind of keep that hanging around. Drill chuck in. There we go. and find ourselves a center drill i'm thinking maybe a bigger one So then we just come in and drill. Wow, it's hitting. It's hitting the chuck. So I can just make the drill a little longer. I mean, it's hitting the, the uh, toe clamps. All right, so we're going to drill a hole in our washer so that the bolt can go through and, and tap into the washer. But, you know, how do you find a, a center in, the, in this? And the way I'm going to work it is I've got a, a drill that fits in here just about right. So we're going to put the drill in. Come on. We're 
we're going to drop it down just about dead center and we're just going to use it as a center just to get the hole started there it is mm -hmm. there's our hole so now we want to take an F drill I believe it's an F um, we'll be back alright so uh, 5 16 thread would use an F drill but I want this just to be a little bit tighter I want it to be stronger so we're going to use an E drill which is one size down I think of you know a loss of maybe five or ten thousandths and oh no we're going to put this uh, pilot in first drill our hole with the pilot with the E drill our our hole now we need to to uh, thread that hole of course and as usual I like to start my thread using the drill down as it goes there we go, there we go. undo the Take it over to the vise and finish threading it. 